Hey everyone, welcome to Sam and Fang Cooking. In this video, I'll show you how to make a delicious apple frangipan tart. Frangipan is a sweet almond flavored custard. Paired with buttery pie crust and apples, this dessert has it all. To get started, we're making the pie crust. Add 240 grams of flour to a bowl, along with two teaspoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and 155 grams of cold butter. Mix the butter into the flour with your hands until the butter is in smaller pieces. Add 6 tablespoons of cold water to the mixture and mix with your hands until you form a dough. Stop mixing as soon as it comes together. Press the dough into a disc and wrap in plastic wrap. Refrigerate for one hour. When the dough is firm, take it out and flour a clean surface. Roll the dough until it's a quarter inch thick and about an inch larger than your tart pan. I'm using a 9 inch tart pan with a removable bottom. Place the dough over the tart pan, gently pressing the dough into the edges of the pan. Trim off any excess dough, leaving about half an inch of dough over the edge of the pan. Fold the excess dough under and keep pressing the dough into the sides of the pan. The dough may shrink in the oven, so build the edge up 1 eighth to 1 quarter inch above the lip of the pan. You can leave it as the shape of the pan or create a pattern by pinching the dough together with your fingers like you do when making pies. Put the tart into the freezer for 20 minutes to make sure it's cold before baking. Add the pan to a sheet tray and line the pan with a sheet of parchment and fill with pie weights, dried beans or rice. Preheat the oven to 375 Fahrenheit. Parbake the crust in the oven for 30 minutes. While the crust is baking, we can prepare the filling. Add 85 grams of room temperature butter and 135 grams of sugar to a stand mixer bowl fitted with a paddle attachment. Cream together until light and fluffy, making sure to scrape the sides of the bowl when needed. Then add two eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla and continue mixing until combined. Add 145 grams of almond flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt and mix until combined. Set the filling aside for now. Cut two apples into thin slices. Keep the slices together because that's how we'll arrange it on the tart. When the crust is done par baking, remove it from the oven and spread the filling evenly into the crust. Arrange the apples on top of the almond filling in any direction you like. Then sprinkle almond slices on top of the apples and the filling. Decrease the oven to 350 Fahrenheit and bake the tart for around 45 to 50 minutes. The crust and filling should be slightly browned. Allow the tart to cool before removing it from the pan. Dust with icing sugar if you like and serve with whipped cream or ice cream. And that's it! Here I'm using Fussel's Cream. It's incredible on pies and tarts. This tart is so buttery and flavorful. You have to make it while the apples are in season, right now. Let us know in the comments below if you give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching! Bye! Like and subscribe, please!